I'm currently on a five day road trip going to five different locations filming five YouTube videos and today is day number four. I'm in South Utah right now. I already showered and got dressed. I feel like you guys don't care to see my morning routine every day, but I did post on my Instagram for you guys to give me some handboarding trick requests. So I'm gonna try a few of those and then go get some breakfast. All right, Freddie Sanchez wants to see a hospital flip. I feel like that's so hard on a handboard. Someone said Nolly impossible. Jaka 7K said Trape of Late Flip. <laughs> Motherfucker said 1080 Shove. <laughs> Kane wants to see me do a fakey hard flip. Smalls wants to see a Nolly Big Heel. I could do heel flip tricks, but I don't actually flick it with like the back of my hand, like the bottom of my palm. I do it with my fingertips. And Jonah Skates wants to see a hard flip lace shove. I could literally only do these switch because my regular hard flips don't pop for shit on the handboard. All right, let's go get some fucking food. Dude, it's so fucking cold. This is a mocha coffee milkshake or some shit like that. I thought the bagel was gonna be a little bigger. Realistically, I could probably fuck up like three of these. Too. So today I'm meeting up with Local Joe. He's another skateboarding YouTuber and he's probably popped up in your guys recommended before. He's always doing videos like, Nigel taught me the secret to 360 flips. He seems like a pretty cool dude. I've never met him in person before, but he recently did a video about me, like trying to learn late shows for one of my videos. And he kind of got a couple, but I want to give him some pointers like in person. And by the end of this video, have him do like a proper one. I just realized I forgot to do my daily tray flip test. I'm gonna see if like some random person in the parking lot could film it for me. Hey, excuse me. Do you think you could record me real quick? I'm gonna just do it like right here. Thank you, I appreciate it. No worries, bro. You have a good one. You too, Take bro. care. Dude, that voice crack was insane. What the fuck? It's because I still had some food in my throat, bro. Don't roast me in the comments. I think I'm gonna try a few more tricks. If I could get like four more people to film me, that'd be, that'd be a W. Hey, excuse me. Do you think you could record me do like a skateboarding trick real quick? It should already be recording. It is, actually. Okay. Where at? Um, I'll just do it right here. Any any trick you want to see? No, I don't even know skateboarding you don't know any tricks. tricks. Okay. <laughs> I can give you one more try. All right. That's what cool, a trick. Cool. One more. Do you think you could do me a favor real quick? What? Could you? Do you think you could record me do a skateboarding trick real quick? It's already recording. I'll All just right. do it right here. Thank you so much. Trust me not to run off with your phone, huh? <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. See if it worked, kid. All right, all right. Oh, you didn't film it good. What? You didn't film it good. I didn't? No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good one. I wanted to do this at a street spot and get like an actual clip, but bro, I don't want to waste somebody's time for that long. I already had homie film me last video for like two hours. And I don't even know any street spots out here, but I'm gonna try to get a couple more people to film me. It's funny because I was just joking about that one guy not filming me good, but then I watched back the clip and he actually didn't frame me up good. Hey, excuse me? Yeah. You think you could record me do a trick real quick? It's already yeah. recording. Thank you so much. Oh, it's, right now? Yeah, it's already. Oh filming. yeah, hey, my son skateboards all the time. Oh really? He lives in San Diego. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, recording. you're in St. George. Here's a California skateboarder, man. Look at this. Well, they gotta do something better than that. There we go, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, send me that video to show my son. You get a kick out of that guy. Yeah. He, he still does that. He's 35. What's your dog's name? Cusco. Cusco? Yeah, come here. He's real jealous. He's je oh, he's jealous? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Cusco, do you think you could film me do a trick? What a sweet guy, bro. It's always like the older dudes with a dog. His dog was not fucking with it, though. He said he was jealous. All right, I think... I think it's time to head to the skate park, bro. Let's get it. Oh, shit. There's people looking. Yo. <laughs> what up? No way. You guys knew I was coming? Yeah. Oh, shit. What's up, bro? What's what? good? What's good? What's happening, bro? I just right in his hand. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, they're all like, they're all like around my car. I, I feel like Justin Bieber in Utah, bro. <laughs> I just ripped my lace putting on my shoe. Oh my God. Dude, these Adidas are fire, but these laces just ripped too easy. This shit's all long. Why do they make shit like this at a skate park?
I kind of got like anxiety when I pulled up because I didn't know Joe was going to tell the whole park that I was coming. I don't usually get like anxiety around large groups of people, but just knowing that all the kids are here for me and I wasn't prepared for it, it's just kind of like, it just sat with me weird when I got here. But I'm kind of over it. Let's get some more clips. We've been filming for Joe's channel. He's doing the late shoves now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give him some pointers for his channel. I put my board so he could level out his fucking Ollie. All you got to do is just be patient. That's that's the key to this trick is patience. I'm not going to tell him, but if he lands both feet on this one, I'll give him 20 bucks. Dude. Okay, that's looking better than any of your attempts in your video. I'm like getting frustrated for him. Like I want to see him land it. The faster you go and the higher you pop, the easier the shove is, I swear. Yes. Bro, I swear, I'm not even, I'm not even meat riding right now. That was the best one. The sooner you bring your knees up, you can start the rotation down, you know? Film me do one, and then let's watch it frame by frame. I'm gonna put mine on the screen next to Joe's. Not just to like flex, like to help people at home that are trying to learn it too. You're also not committing. I wanna see you commit to one. You're a good example because I feel like a lot of people that are trying to learn this trick, they have the same attempts as you. I already have a trick tip on this on my channel from like five years ago. This is just, I want to see Joe land it. This isn't like a trick tip. It looks like you're giving up before you even level your ollie. I'm scissoring like from the get, bro. You're it's scissoring like who? <laughs> I tell everybody this, but you can't think about the shove until you're already in the air. I, I could tell on the way up you're thinking about it. Commit next try, both feet. If you don't, you can never use another pro skater's face in your thumbnail again. Bro. That was oh, it. yes. Joe's so thick. Right, 10 bucks. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Nobody heard that. Oh, I almost didn't film that. How'd you do a second try of the Euro? Yeah. My toe touched. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. This shit's probably like twice as tall as him. Hey, I'll give you a late clip sweater if you go for it right here. No! Okay. They go crazy like it's like a fucking Tesla. <laughs> Got you, bro. That shows fat. You were in the air for a minute. I know, dude. I feel like Let's I was go, like, oh. Where can you get that? I'm glad you asked. Link at the top of the description, lakeclub.co. It feels insanely comfortable on the inside, bro. Like, it's so nice. I didn't pay him to say that. I just realized I didn't film you do anything except the late show. Can you just, like, kick up the Euro again? You want to be in the video? Yes. What's good? Gang, you're in the video. Let's go. Yeah, good seeing you. Dude, you guys don't understand how hard Brian works, dude. Thank to you, make bro. Out, make all these videos happen. Seven days straight filming. You guys better be appreciative. Hey, who wants my old board? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't even need that. I got a brand new <laughs> Yo. Oh, my. Yo. Yo. Chill. It's not that serious. I had this shit before. You also knocked down three kids for it. <laughs> Let's go. Holy Dude, shit. you're so out of breath. Hey, shout out. Hey, shout out uh, St. St. George. What the fuck is it called? St. George in South Utah, bro. Everyone was cool as shit, bro. I'm gonna go grab some food real quick and uh, I'll catch back with you. Shout out Casey. I'll just catch back with you. All right, I stopped at Firehouse Subs. This thing is fucking massive. I only have a two hour drive to my next location. So this is the first time I'm gonna get to my hotel at a decent time. I'm gonna get there probably a little after eight. Cause this whole trip, I'll be getting my hotel at like midnight, 1 a.m. and just knocking out right after I import my footage. So yeah, I'm gonna just eat my food, hop on the road and I'll see you guys at the hotel. All right, made it to the hotel. Can't tell you guys where I'm at yet until tomorrow, but it's about 9 p.m. So I'm glad to be here at a decent time to where I actually have a little bit of time to relax before I go to sleep. Because, bro, I swear this whole trip has just been action. Like, it feels like I'm living on fast forward, and I don't even know if the videos are doing it justice, like how much driving I'm doing and shit. I'm gonna throw a little animation on the screen to kind of paint you guys a picture. I started in Fillmore on Monday, spent two days driving all the way to Fort Worth, Texas, and then that's when I started the vlog, and then went from Fort Worth to El Paso, El Paso to Phoenix, Phoenix to South Utah, and then tonight I drove 
drove about another two hours to the last location but I still have to drive home tomorrow which will be another like four and a half hours so yeah bro it's a lot I hope you guys are enjoying these videos I've already put 3k miles on my car and I'm gonna put more I'm gonna add everything up in tomorrow's video including the cost like I said of the hotels and gas and all that but right now I just kind of want to quickly talk about today because bro the love in South Utah was insane like I didn't expect that not gonna lie when I first got to the skate park I was a little stressed out when I saw a bunch of people there for me because it's like damn I'm trying to film a full YouTube video but when a bunch of people are trying to conversate with me it makes it hard to vlog and get content and like those are my boys you know those are my viewers I don't want to just give them the cold shoulder and be like hey fuck off I'm trying to film you know like I always want to give people the time of day especially when they support me but I was just like all right I just gotta lock in film a decent amount of clips and then just kind of chill and vlog whatever happens at the park and it ended up being really sick especially towards the end once all my stress was gone and shit and the reason I say it's crazy is because like bro I'll never get used to that like a bunch of people that know a bunch of shit about me because they consume my content weekly and it's like being in a random ass state a small ass part of utah like fucking utah bro what the fuck like that shit is so crazy to me like the love that i get in random ass places like i swear i'll never get used to that bro and i know that shit's worldwide bro because i be seeing your guys messages on instagram it's like australia new zealand like so many places where there's like little groups that support me like that's fucking insane but yeah bro i just want to say i fucking love you guys and i hope everybody there had a good time in south utah because like i just felt like i couldn't give everyone the time of day that they deserve like i really wish i could have just sat down with everyone and just chilled had a conversation but like i had to be like so locked into the content because i like i committed to these daily videos i don't know i mean <sighs> I know some of you guys might be like, why the fuck's he making this such a big deal? But like, it is a big deal to me, bro. Every single person I meet, like, I, I don't just take a picture with someone. And I'm like, oh, yep, just another fan, you know? Like, no, bro. Every time I meet someone, I think about that interaction a lot. Because, yeah, I meet a lot of people, sign a lot of autographs, take a lot of pictures, whatever. But like, that one person, you know, they could that could have been watching me for the last three years. This is their one time meeting me, finally. Like, that, that first impression, that first time talking to me, that's everything. You know, they're going to remember that for a good minute. I'm not trying to just be like, yo, what's good, bro? And then walk away. No, like, I'm trying to, like, conversate with them. I'm trying to give them the time of day, you feel me? And just, like, treat them like a homie, you know? Because, like, I don't think of it on some fan shit. Like, I deadass meet you guys and I try to just be on some cool shit. I don't know why I'm, like, tripping. It's not like anybody had a bad time today. Like, everyone seemed excited. But I just, like, felt my energy, like, just more focused on the content than the people, you know? Motherfuckers were showing me their Instagram DMs with me and they were going all the way back to, like, 2020. Like, that's crazy. You've been watching my shit for that long and now I'm here skating with you. It also just trips me out because, like, I'm talking to some of them off camera and they're, like, talking to me and about me like I'm some celebrity you know and it's like I don't like I, I don't know like sometimes I just don't feel like I deserve all this love <laughs> I, I don't I don't fucking know like I don't I just don't get this shit sometimes <laughs> I don't why the fuck am I tearing up bro but yeah, bro, this shit's been fucking crazy. This trip's been draining physically and mentally, but I wouldn't change a thing, bro. I'd do this shit again. It's been so fun. I met some cool-ass people, and hopefully these videos are fire. Like, I know I'm gonna look back at these videos in a few years and be like, damn, I really did that for fucking YouTube. We got one more day of the road trip, bro. One more video for you guys tomorrow at the same time. I fucking love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.